Jai Gurudev, good evening viewers. Today we have a very special guest who has transformed lives worldwide through the Art of Living programs, Anand Rajendranji, a revered disciple of His Holiness Gurudev Shishi Ravi Shankarji, left a thriving career in software engineering in San Francisco and New York City to become a full-time Art of Living teacher. Anandji has conducted the DSN Devi Samaj Kanirman and Art of Living courses globally including for NASA scientists, top World Bank officers, elite investment bankers of New York City and professors from Harvard, Stanford and MIT. Anandji, welcome. It is truly an honor and privilege to have you with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It is a joy to be here. Anandji, your journey from the bustling tech hubs of San Francisco and New York to becoming a full-time Art of Living teacher is incredibly inspiring. Can you share what motivated you to make such a significant transition? Certainly, working in the software industries in cities like San Francisco and New York was challenging yet rewarding. However, amidst the professional success, I felt a growing sense of emptiness and a longing for something more meaningful attending a few Art of Living sessions. Initially, as a participant, I experienced profound peace and clarity that I had not felt before. The teachings of Gurudev, especially the Sudarshan Kriya, helped me tap into a deeper understanding of life and my purpose. This compelled me to pursue this path full-time to spread the joy and wisdom I had found. That's remarkable. Could you elaborate on how your background in software engineering has influenced your approach to teaching Art of Living courses? My engineering background taught me the importance of analytical thinking and structured problem solving. This has translated into my teaching by allowing me to present complex spiritual concepts in a more relatable and systematic manner. It also helped me connect with participants from technical and academic fields who may initially be skeptical or seek a logical understanding of the practices. You have led courses for some of the most brilliant minds in science and finance. How do you tailor your sessions to engage such a diverse and intellectual audience? When working with such audiences, it is crucial to bridge the gap between intellect and intuition. I start by addressing their analytical mindset, explaining the scientific and psychological aspects of meditation and breathtaking techniques. This builds credibility and piques their interest. Once they experience the practices and the immediate benefits, they become more open to the holistic aspects of the teachings. Let's talk about DSN courses specifically. They are known for being transformative and intense. What makes DSN so effective and what has been your most memorable experience while conducting a DSN course? DSN or Divya Samaj Ka Nirman translates to creating a divine society. The course is designed to push participants beyond their comfort zones and break through personal barriers. It is a powerful mix of spiritual practices, emotional release and actionable strategies for personal growth. One memorable experience was a DSN course in New York City where participants included high-profile investment bankers and corporate executives. By the end of the course, witnessing their transformation from stressed professionals to radiant peaceful individuals was incredibly fulfilling. They shared how the course had not only helped them personally, but also improved their professional relationships and decision-making abilities. You have conducted courses across the globe. How do you adapt your teaching to different cultural contexts and needs? Cultural sensitivity and adaptability are key. Each region has its unique cultural backdrop and challenges. For example, in the US, participants often seek stress management and personal development, whereas in India, there might be a deeper inclination towards spiritual growth. I adjust the focus and delivery of the content accordingly while ensuring the core teachings of Art of Living remain intact. This flexibility helps in making the courses relevant and impactful, irrespective of the geographical or cultural context. Your journey with the Art of Living has allowed you to touch many lives. Could you share a story of a participant whose transformation during one of your courses profoundly impacted you? There are many such stories, but one that stands out is a senior NASA scientist who attended a DSN course. Initially, he was very skeptical and resistant. However, as the course progressed, he held and he had a significant breakthrough. He experienced a deep emotional release and found a sense of peace and purpose that he had been missing. Later, he shared how this transformation helped him reconnect with his family and reignite his passion for his work. It is moments like these that reaffirm the power and importance of the work we do. In your view, what is the most rewarding aspect of being an Art of Living teacher? The most rewarding aspect is witnessing the transformation in participants, seeing them evolve from stressed, anxious individuals into calm, centered, and joyful beings is profoundly satisfying. Each course reaffirms my commitment to this path and it's a privilege to facilitate such positive change in people's lives. 
Anand ji, what message would you like to convey to our viewers, especially those who are considering joining an Art of Living course? Anand ji, could you share with us uh, how your journey with Art of Living began? Certainly, my journey with Art of Living started long time ago when I was working in software engineering in San Francisco. Despite a successful career, I felt a longing for something deeper and more meaningful in life. That's when I attended my first Art of Living course. What prompted you to take that first course? I was initially drawn to it by the recommendation of a colleague who had experienced profound changes in his life after attending Art of Living programs. I was curious and felt a strong pull towards exploring meditation and spirituality. How did your experience with Art of Living unfold after that first course? It was transmitted. The practices and knowledge I gained through Art of Living resonated deeply with me. I started volunteering and eventually took the Deep Dive DSN program which further deepened my understanding and commitment. Could you tell us more about your role now within Art of Living? Currently, I am a full-time Art of Living teacher. I conduct courses and workshops globally sharing the tools and techniques that have brought such positive changes in my life and in the lives of many others. What are some of the most memorable moments or experiences you have had while teaching Art of Living programs? There are so many. One memorable experience was teaching a course to a group of NASA scientists who were dealing with high-pressure work environments. Seeing them relax, find inner peace and express their gratitude for the practices was incredibly rewarding. How do you integrate your background in software engineering with your role as a teacher in Art of Living? Interestingly, both fields require clarity of thought, problem-solving skills and the ability to manage stress art of living practices have enhanced my efficiency and creativity and I often find parallels between the principles of software engineering and the techniques taught in art of living. What would you say is the most valuable lesson you have learned from His Holiness Gurudev Shri Sri Ravi Shankarji? One of the most valuable lessons is the power of unconditional love and compassion. Gurudev's teachings emphasize spreading peace and harmony in the world starting from within ourselves. His wisdom has guided me to, to live with great awareness and purpose. Lastly, what advice would you give to someone who is considering exploring Art of Living programs? I would encourage them to take that first step. Art of Living offers practical tools that can transform one's life positively. It is not just about stress relief or meditation. It is about personal growth, inner peace and making a positive impact in the world. Jagrdev.